All right, today what I want to walk everybody through is how I use Atom 2 inside of Drambo. Um, I've gone ahead and uh, pre-populated uh, tracks 1, 2, and 3 with instruments. So I've got Pure Piano on 1, Aperillo on 2, and Continuo on 3. So what I personally like to do is I like to go to the main channel, and then what I like to do is add a MIDI device, and it's an audio unit MIDI processor, add Atom 2. Let's expand this. Uh, one of the first things that you want to do since we're going to be doing multi-channel on a single instance of Atom 2 is go in your settings and under set styles go ahead and activate MIDI channel colors um, if it's not already set. Um, I think by, by default it'll be set to default. So switch it to MIDI channel colors and this will all make sense in a, in a few minutes. And since this is just an overview let's just go ahead and just do one bar. All right, so the cool thing is uh, now um, what uh, the developer has done is they made it super simple to just basically program all your MIDI uh, inside of a single instance for multiple channels. So let's go ahead and change this to uh, filter. And the way I brought that up is just tap on the channels button here. Uh, defaults to MPE, but let's go ahead and switch it to filters. And we're just going to be working with channels 1, 2, and 3. So let's go ahead and turn those on, and we can close that. Um, for the add, if you uh, just press it once, um, you can actually just start drawing. But if you press and hold, you now have access to the uh, channel button. So you can actually uh, create additional channels. So that was channel one. This will be channel two. Okay, and then let's do channel three. And so now if I hit play, nothing happens. And the reason nothing is happening is because nothing is wired up. So within the uh, main channel view, what you're going to want to do is um, tap on the MIDI glyph and then route it from uh, MIDI out from Atom to. OK, now if we hit play, uh, what's actually going to happen, only the first instrument is going to play because it's receiving all the MIDI from all the channels. Sorry all three instruments are going to be playing the same MIDI channel. So what we need to do is we need, need to actually filter that out. So let's go to track one. And what we're going to add is a MIDI channel filter. That'll be channel one. This will be channel two. And this will be channel three. OK, now if I hit play, they should be playing the notes that I've prescribed here. So let's go pick a different sound for Aparillo. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this and let's go into channel and let's hide all. And I just want to show channel two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to channel two. Okay. Let's say I want to add some additional notes to channel three. Okay. And this should update to channel three. All right, so that's the gist. Um, what I do is I go to the main channel inside of Drambo. I add the Atom uh, 2 as my sequencer. And then I add whatever number of tracks I want to the session. 
and then I route um, MIDI from Atom to each of those tracks and then within the individual tracks I then add a channel filter and then specify which channel I want it to be filtered to and then uh, what ends up happening is that inside of Atom uh, since you now have access to multiple channels in a single view each of those channels are going to be assigned appropriately to the individual tracks. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.